Last season was a bit of a beautiful mess, I suppose, for Watford. There were four managers. You'd have thought it was ingredients for failure, uh, but they came out of that with a, a late charge to promotion. Very nearly won the title, uh, but for a late Sheffield Wednesday equaliser in the final game of the season. The season shouldn't have ended us with us feeling grumpy because it was a fantastic season, thoroughly enjoyable in every way. Having come 13th the season before, uh, I guess coming a whisker away from first was the very best that they could have hoped for. From the moment where Troy Deeney signed a new contract on the back of another season of scoring 20 plus goals and, and, and big offers from Premier League teams, it said a lot for, for how he viewed the potential of the club. Watford are owned by the Pozzo family, who also control Udinese in Italy and Granada in Spain. The um, issue for a lot of people is the link with Udinese and the number of players that Watford had from Udinese on loan, but Watford insists that they're being run as an independent club. And now, you know, promotion to the Premier League and the huge money that they're going to get from that, it remains to be seen actually how they manage that, how they invest in players, how much of the money they spend. Kike Sanchez Flores um, is the new guy and he's got a very good pedigree. He's won the Europa League with Atletico Madrid and, and, and beat Inter Milan to win the Super Cup as well. Obviously, we don't know how that will translate here. But my, my inclination is to trust the owner's judgment. The Pozzo family are famous for signing young players from as obscure parts of the world that other scouts haven't reached yet. Last season's team um, was focused on scoring goals. Defence was very much an afterthought. We were a good enough footballing team. Three strikers scoring 55 goals between them. What was often the difference in Watford's games between success and failure was that they took their chances while their opponents didn't. We've signed an entire new back four and two defensive midfielders. Valon Barami, he's a Swiss international, played for West Ham before, and he's a destructive midfielder of the type that we've not had for a while. Etchin Kapu, who was amongst the first, if not the first, of the signing. It does suggest that Flores is uh, considering changing the shape of the team, which has played with a, a, a back five and wing backs for most of the last three years. We were playing three at the back for most of last season. So Alan Neom and Jose Helop Holabas, who are both playing at a, at a high level in Europe last season, um, will, will bring a lot of strength there. About three years ago, I put out a tweet saying, um, I know he's young, but Harry Kane will never ever make it at Tottenham. And to this day, he still gets retweeted, and, and so it should, because I've never seen a transformation in a player like it in my life. Last season was probably the most enjoyable I've had for, for many years, purely because Pochettino's style and his ability to let players play, but also uh, you know, enable the players to show or give an element of, of heart and fight when on the pitch and from a fan's perspective that's really all you want. 